meet in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Good evening, ladies. Welcome here this evening, a very special evening. As far as I know, the first in the history of the school where we're having the Basha ceremony outside. Um, we spoke about making memories in a different way. I think this is part of that of those memories, make, where we make it in a different way. And a few years ago, when we are used to living with this nasty virus, we also talk of, can you remember the year when we had to do the Basha ceremony outside? actually how special it was and this is part of those memory bank so let's make the most of it let's enjoy it also this evening i want to say congratulations to the great eights who's gone through the integration program and this tonight where it actually officially symbolizes it's the end of that now that you can wear the basher serum the better, but I'm not going to say a lot more about that. More will be said about it at the later stage. So enjoy the evening with us and let's make the most of it. Please stand. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The light and peace of Jesus Christ be with you, and also with you. The glory of the Lord has risen upon us. Let us rejoice and sing God's praise forever. Let us give thanks to God the Father, who has delivered us from the dominion of darkness, and transformed us to the kingdom of his beloved Son. For Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. All things were created through Christ and for Christ. Christ is before all things, and in Christ all things hold together. Let us pray. Guide us, O God, by your word and spirit, that in your light we may see light, in your truth wisdom, and in your world discover your peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us please be seated. Jesus says, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. So let us turn away from our sin and turn to Christ, confessing our sins in penitence and faith. So let us, in a moment of silence, call to mind and confess our sins, firmly resolve to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with our neighbour. God of mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves, and in the world you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on your behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Saviour, Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love, and serve only your will. Amen. Amen. May the God of love and power forgive us our sins and free us from our sins. Heal and strengthen us by his Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. We pray the collect for the day. Let us pray. God of Sarah and Abraham, Long ago you embraced your people in covenant and promised them your blessing. Give us grace to recognize you as our God and serve you as your faithful people. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please stand for the reading of the Gospel.
Listen to the good news proclaimed in the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 8, reading from verse 31. Glory to Christ our Saviour. Jesus then began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the teachers of the law, and that he must be killed and after three days rise again. He spoke plainly about this, and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But when Jesus turned and looked at his disciples, he rebuked Pe Peter. Get behind me, Satan, he said. You do not have in mind the concerns of God, but merely human concerns. Then he called the crowd to him along with his disciples and said, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. Whoever wants to save their life will lose it. But whoever loses their life for me and for the gospel will save it. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? If anyone is ashamed of me and my words, in this adulterous and sinful generation, the Son of Man will be ashamed of them when he comes in his Father's glory with his holy angels. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Young grade eight, I have a question for you tonight. What would you do with your free time if you never had to go to school again? For many of us, we can answer that question, especially during the hard lockdowns that we have experienced because of COVID-19. In answer to that question, many young people might say, that they would spend their newfound freedom playing video games, watching TV, playing with friends, sleeping, baking, and so on and so on. But think about what would happen if that's all we did. If human beings are left without guidance, principles, and values, the world would fall apart. There's nothing wrong with the things I mentioned above. Yet we have to admit that doing only what we want will, in the end, get us nowhere. Food doesn't magically appear on your table. Your parents did not provide a home for you because you were good at video games. Your school, transportation, books, sporting programs were all given to you because of people, who were working and sacrificing behind the scenes. Just doing what we want to do won't put a roof over our head or clothes on our back. Sacrificing for the good of someone else is a major part of life. Many people mistakenly think that following their own dreams and desires will give them true happiness and peace. But if we, do not, if we do only what we want to do, we will soon discover that the world does not get better all by itself. Values like love, mercy, justice, and peace don't just magically appear out of nowhere. We have to follow certain principles, certain values, and certain commandments to make the world a better place. When all is said and done, we have to follow a, a certain person, Jesus Christ. We have made great advances in science, medicine, and technology, and in our society as a whole. Yet with all this progress, is the world really a better place? Entire continents still live with poverty. There is no end to wars and rumours of wars, and there is increasing violence and division amongst people. 
the numbers of murders, rapes, acts of violence and abortions is beyond our ability to imagine or comprehend. But I hope you will see the world through the eyes of our blessed Lord that our vocation is to follow Him first and foremost. The world is desperate for God's love and somebody has to bring that to God. That is our mission, our vocation. It belongs to all the baptized. So I am going to say something you don't usually hear at a grade 8 induction or basher ceremony. Don't follow your dreams, your desires, or your passions unless they are formed by the gospel of Jesus Christ. Don't go out and make the world the place you want it to be. This is God's creation. Follow Jesus. Make the world the place He designed it to be. Follow His dreams, His desires, and His passion for you. Make the world the place where Christ is present and welcomed. We don't need a world that is simply efficient, creative, technologically advanced and highly educated. We need a world that is filled with love, justice, mercy and peace. The writer Joseph Campbell spent years studying myth and legends. He said that all myths and legends throughout history have something in common. It is this. Every hero's story begins when he leaves home. Every hero's story begins when he leaves home. So as you have left your primary school days behind and embarked on this new journey of entering grade 8 and becoming part of the high school, may St. Michael's be a home to you and become a lasting home to you. As you enter into this new phase of school life, I would like to leave you with these few final thoughts. First, Pray and read the Word of God every day, and go to church as often as you can. The Word is the beginning and end of our faith. Second, there is enough rage and anger in the world. If you keep your cool and pray before reacting, the world is yours to inherit. Thirdly, you will see many things that disturb you in life. Do what you can to correct them. One person cannot do everything, but everyone can do something. Fourthly, the values of the world are different from the values of our school and the church. You will be bombarded with suggestions that living an upright life based in the love of Christ is wrong and out of touch with reality. Know and live by the teachings of our Lord and Saviour. We are His and we are purchased by his blood. Remember we are all in this world but our values are not of this world. And finally, make sure you choose the right friends, people of good quality and character. It is better to have two good friends than twenty that are not so good. Remember you are a heroine of your own story. You can't know what will happen or where life will take you. That is part and parcel of the adventure. Live it with faith and remember that God has a dream for you. Ask yourself every day, what is God's dream for me and how can I make it come true? Whatever God's dream is, it comes from the most profound love you can imagine. Whatever happens, whatever unknown road you might walk, God will be ready to, make, to take you in His arms and carry you where you belong. Remember, God loves you and He will always be with you. So stand strong, stand strong and enjoy this new adventure of learning and discovery. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let us stand and confess our faith in the words of the baptismal creed. 
I believe and trust in God the Father who made the world. I believe and trust in His Son Jesus Christ who redeemed humankind. I believe and trust in His Holy Spirit who gives life to the people of God. I believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. We will now come to the part of the service where we bless and light candles. And I will call upon our three head girls just now to come forward and to share the light with you. But before that, we will say a few prayers in relation to that. Simeon calls Jesus a light to enlighten the Gentiles. The warm candlelight is meant to become a tangible reminder of that great light which far and beyond all time radiates from the figure of Jesus. We are reminded of the need to be prepared to burn brightly ourselves in the midst of this dark world. We light a candle this evening. It is not our own light. No light of ours would burn bright enough. Rather, it is the light of Christ. The light which is at the beginning of creation shined in the darkness and which no darkness could overcome. Jesus was a light to lighten the Gentiles and all the nations, races and cultures of people. So grade eight, you have spent the last two weeks during orientation learning about the school and yourselves. The matrix have shared their experiences and knowledge with you. They have carried the light of Christ with them. Now they will pass on that light to you. May you, grade 8, carry the light with you and share the light of Christ with others in our community. I now call upon our three head girls to come forward and to light the candles of the grade 8 on behalf of the metric class of 2021. Let us pray. Bless these candles, Lord, that through the prayer we offer as we light them, your light might shine brightly in our lives, and especially on our grade eights, as they go into the high school. May their light shine as the light of Christ shines within our hearts. Lord God, the springing source of everlasting light, pour into the hearts of your faithful people the brilliance of your eternal splendor that we who by these kindling flames light up our homes and our hearts to your glory may have the darkness of our souls dispelled 
and so be counted worthy to stand before you in the eternal city where you live and reign. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Thank you, ladies. You may now blow out your candles. You can just put it next to you on the grass. We now come to our Basha ceremony. And I call upon the head girl to read the tradition of why we have the Basha and what it means for a girl of St. Michael's to receive it. Good evening, everyone. Mm -hmm. Since 1874, countless ladies joined this foul school community. Here they have been taught not only academic knowledge, but also values like respect, honesty, and caring. Their contributions have built up a fine tradition on the workplace. Now it is your turn to begin making a contribution and leave behind a lasting legacy. These batches represent the history and tradition of St. Michael's School. If you are the future St. Michael's, wear these batches with pride and dignity. I'd also like to commend you all for completing your two weeks of integration, being in one piece and being able to make it through. I hope that this process taught you not only unity, but being able to understand how important it is to always stick to each other and have respect for people who are older than you. We welcome you to St. Michael's graduates. We are now going to request the grade 12s, row by row, to, to come forward as they stand here. The same row um, of grade 8s will then follow and receive their bashes, and they will go sit down and then the following row, please. Thank you.
Congratulations. Congratulations to our grade eights. Please wear the basha with pride. And uh, this, the basha is not only there to keep you busy on a Friday to chapel or when you're going to town. It is actually there to wear with pride because this is what distinguishes St. Michael's. One of the things that distinguishes us from other girls' schools in the country. We are still one of the very few girls' schools who are wearing the best and something to be very proud of. But this ceremony is not only about grade 8s receiving their bashes from the grade 12s, it is also the grade 12s who will receive their matric badges which they can then wear with, with pride. In grade 8s, this is the way that the puzzle pieces fall slowly but surely in place around you until one day you can sit here and one day you will also receive your matric badges. So I'm going to request that the matrix please line up and come forward to receive their badges one by one from me. Thank you.
congratulations, Matrix, and congratulations, Grade 8. Um, grade 8, can you just take off your bashes as we go into a time of prayer? Let us bow our heads in prayer. Let us pray that the light of Christ may be seen in, seen in the life of the church and of our school. You have called us into the family of those who are the children of God. May our love for our sisters and brothers in Christ be strengthened by your grace. Jesus, Lord of our school, make us bearers of your light. You have called us to be a temple where the Holy Spirit can dwell. Give us all clean hands and pure hearts, so that together with Dentu our Bishop, Tabo our Metropolitan, Mr. Van Baek our Rector, and all your people, that our lives may reflect your holiness. Jesus, Lord of our school, make us bearers of your light. You have called us to be a city planted on a hill, witness to the humanity we share with all people, guide the leaders of all nations to make them wise, and to give them the decisions that they need for the welfare of people everywhere. Jesus, Lord of our school, make us bearers of your light. You have called us to be a light in the world, so that those in darkness come to you. May our lives shine as a witness to the saving grace you have given for all. Jesus, Lord of our school, make us bearers of your light. You have called us to be members of your body, so that when one suffers, all suffer together. We ask for your comfort and healing power to bring hope to those in distress. Jesus, Lord of our school, make us bearers of your light. And as God has taught us, we say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And we pray the school prayer together. Almighty God, before whom we stand, make the school a place where truth and love abound. May St. Michael and all his holy angels bless and protect us, so that we may be instruments to your glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please stand. Give thanks for the Lord is gracious, God's mercy endures forever. Father of life, from whom comes every good and perfect gift, strengthened by the nourishment of your word, keep us in the light of Christ to shine in your world, that all may believe in you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Eternal One be in front of you to show you the way. May the Eternal One be next to you to encourage you. May the Eternal One be beneath you to carry you. May the Eternal One be within you to fill you with love and joy. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. To a troubled world, peace from Christ. To a searching world, love from Christ. To a waiting world, hope from Christ. Go therefore in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you ladies, you may be seated. I would just like to extend a word of thanks to Father Grant, also to all the staff members present here, those who are taking photos, 
Mr. Miller, who set up a whole video complex, video recording com complexity here. Um, you will now edit it and then we will make it available um, maybe on the school's network so that Wednesday, Thursday. Wednesday, Thursday, so that you and your parents can then download it from from a school's network. But ladies, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the weekend. Um, I know they're not here. I told them that they can rest tonight, but also to my sport hitter and Mr. Tengi, who stayed, stayed over for the whole weekend. We really appreciate that too. Can I now ask that grade eights, if we can maybe just come and put the candles here, and then if you can just bring your and just give your mistress's chair, just put it, put it here on the stoop. We'd really appreciate it. It looks as if it might rain tonight, so let's just get them out of the rain for me as well. With that, this, these proceedings are over, and you guys can come to school without any nerves tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.